If you want to have peace in the world, this is a wonderful first step. Mr. Baba Jain has been friend. You mentioned the Dalai Lama, my guru's brother. He calls me his Jain brother. Confidant. The, all this was arranged by my dear friend and sister, Ila Gandhi, the granddaughter of Mahatma Gandhi. And a great support system. Mr. President, here is a song for your soul. To many of the greatest spiritual and political leaders of our time. They always referred to him as Martin King. People who know him personally, who had worked with him. At a certain point, I raised my hand and I started talking about Martin King. And they turned and they said, who's this guy, Asian, who's talking about Martin King? Throughout the past few weeks, we've been on a journey through time with our dearest friend, Mr. Bawa Jain. I have not wanted or yearned for attention, but these are the true treasures of life. These experiences, how you react to them. Yes, I've been blessed. I've met my guru in my life. My guru who knew everybody also, you Mother Teresa. She says, please give this to the Secretary General from you. My name is Sarah Ciotti, and I'm the co-founder of Elite Advisement Group. My name is Bawa Jain. I serve as the founder president of the Center for Responsible Leadership. Throughout the past few weeks, we've been on a journey through time as we go through some of the most controversial topics thus far. Mr. Jain, we have an understanding that Dalai Lama cannot be invited, that the charismatic founder of the religion should no longer be in the physical body. So I said, Mr. President, are you willing to use your bully pulpit to convene a town hall across the country on race relations? Learn from every encounter, from every episode. And you will notice very quickly that life will be much better. Bawa Jain speaks exclusively with elite.